everybody, welcome back to Rich Pack Creations. I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers and a big thank you to all the previous subscribers. So today we're going to make some clothing knobs for your clothes or bags or jewelry or whatever you want to hang on them. But today we're going to make Hufflepuff and Slytherin and next week's episode we're going to make some Ravenclaw and Gryffindor ones. So let's get started. First of all, you just want to take a long screw. Mine is five centimeters and you want to add on a piece of clay like this and then bake it once before you continue on to the actual sculpting part of the figures. After you're happy with the basic shape, it doesn't really have to be perfect because you're going to add more clay later on. You just want to measure it up with the other ones you're making if you're making several and just cut with a blade and cut it all the way around because then you get a smooth end so it's easier for it to I don't know look neat on the wall so when you screw it in it's going to lay nice and flat against the surface that is pretty much it you're just going to continue doing that if you're making more of them I'm making four and now I'm going to put them in the oven for 30 minutes at 110 Celsius. These are now finished in the oven. As you can see, they're no longer soft. And now I'm going to start molding the figures on top. I'm going to begin with Slytherin. And that's a snake. So I'm going to start by rolling out a piece of clay into a long piece. And then I'm going to start shaping the head and a narrow tail. So I think that's going to be the head part. I'm just going to roll that out and narrow it in the end. I'm just going to do that first. Now I just rolled out the piece of clay into sort of a snake shape. And I'm going to begin sculpting the head. It has a little bit of a neck, the snake I'm making. Not much. And it sort of has a circular backside of the head. It goes into a point and almost like a triangle sort of snout. I'm just going to continue working on that shape until I'm happy with it. I'm just going to carefully start bending into different shapes that I would imagine a snake would like to position itself in. Sort of like this. I'm just going to shake that and put it on the knob and just work myself from there. So this is pretty much the shape that I want. It's pretty simple. You just roll out a sausage and just twist it around until you're happy with how it looks. And now I'm just going to go and turn it around and attach it properly to the back side. As you can see here, I'm just smoothing out the clay onto the piece that I baked earlier. And for every point that the snake is connected to the dot, I'm just going to add on some extra pieces of clay and I'm just going to smooth it out and drag it along the snake. I just worked a little bit more on the mouth, tweaking it around and now I'm going to go ahead and make an eye. So I'm pretty much done with the snake, it's pretty straightforward, just two eyes, two nostrils, and a little mouth. And now I'm just tapping on a piece of a sponge just to add some interesting texture. I'm going to paint it when it's baked, but for now I'm just going to add a little bit of texture, but not too much. So for the next figure, I'm going to make the badger for Hufflepuff. And I'm just going to begin by making a basic badger shape before I'm going to attach it, just so I get the rough idea of the size that I want to have it. I also going to make it into sort of a two dimensional relief. It's not going to be an entire 3D figure, more of a flat on one side since it's going to be attached to the knob. Once you feel like you have a basic badger shape, you can start adding it to the um, knob. 
and then attach it as you did with the other one. Just add clay on like this and attach it properly. Now the rough shape of the body is finished and I'm going to begin with the ears. I'm just going to add a lump of clay like this. Now I'm just going to squish it down in front and smooth it out with the rest of the figure. I'm just going to push it in and making it a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. I'm going to continue like this in the front and then on the other sides. I'm going to use this tool and sort of push down and attach it all the way around. That's pretty much how you make the ears. After the ears, I'm just beginning to shape out the eyes. It's pretty much the same technique as on the snake for slithering. Just want to sort of squeeze the clay around. Except that the badger for Hufflepuff really has small eyes. So you just want to do this and tweak it until you get an eyeball. For the nose of the badger, it's pretty much the same technique as for the eyes. You just push in and make a nose shape instead of a circular eye shape. So I'm pretty happy with the face and now I'm going to start sculpting some fur. And I'm actually going to paint these in metallic paint. So they're not going to be ultra like nature realistic. So I just want to make some harsh fur looking texture on the entire body and then I'm going to finish off with the feet. For the legs I'm just going to push in four small toes. I was considering to add some little um, claws but um, they're so thin and tiny so I decided not to do it. So I'm just going to make the toes and make sure the foot looks okay and then add a little bit more details back on a little bit more fur and now this figure and the snake is ready for the oven so as you can see i was just out spray painting them in the driveway of my house and now i'm just gonna distress them a little bit by adding some black and we mix with some gold and copper into the crevices of the fur and i'm just pushing it into the lines and then quickly wiping off the excess on top before it dries and i'm just going to continue doing that until i'm happy with how it looks and i'm going to emphasize the black on the back legs and where it would naturally cast some shadow. Additionally, I'm just going to work a little bit with the details on the face, maybe enhance a little bit black into the eyes and ears and nose and just wipe it off again. Then I'm just going to continue like that until I'm happy and I'm going to do the same with the snake for Slytherin as well. This is the finished project for this week. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you want to see Ravenclaw and Gryffindor, be sure to watch out for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.